Today, in this tutorial, we are going to set up a simple Acurist example app. To get started, uh, we basically uh, just have to copy this command, which will set up a, an example starter project uh, that we can start from. So let's open up the terminal and run this command and give it a name. I'll call it demo. Then it will first pull the templates that we have. At the moment, we only have the blank one, so we choose this one. And then it will initialize the project locally. So now we can um, go into the directory and see that we have a, a sample node project here. <clears throat> we can now do um, npm install, I think, is already done. So we can set up Accurist. For this, we have to do Accurist init. During this um, setup process, we will co create the configuration file that um, specifies the deployment uh, details of the project. So we give it a name, demo. Then it will be a one-time deployment, not an interval deployment. So let's choose this. Let's say for now that because it's a demo, we want to run it for one hour. Um, that is also fine. That is going to be the bundle that is going to be deployed. And that's it. So now we can see we have uh, it created this accurate JSON file that holds the configuration of our project. Okay, so now let's open up this project in VS Code and take a look. <clears throat> So as we can see, as mentioned before, we have um, the configuration file here that specifies a couple of the configurations that will be applied once you deploy the project. For example, how long it will run um, and the cost of the deployment and how many replicas you want to have. So um, because this is a blank project, there are not many well, there isn't anything here, so let's pull in um, another project that we have set up, which I have, I have it open here already. This is a simple web server example. So let's copy this code and go back here. So, um, ah yeah, we also now have to install the dependencies. I prepared a command here. So we go, we open the terminal here and we install the dependencies. So this uh, example here is a very simple um, express web server example um, that just has one route that says hello, hello from Acurist. Let's do like, uh, from Acurist demo so we can see that it's live. <clears throat> um, yes, so here we can set the subdomain, which will basically be the name where our website will be available. So let's call this demo. And the rest is pretty self-explanatory. Good. So let's give this a try. We can do npm run bundle to bundle this up. And let's see if there are any errors. No. So there are no errors. Now we have this dist folder with the bundle.js um, which, as defined in the accurate JSON, will be then uh, used for the deployment. Okay, so that's already it. Now we can do npm run deploy, because we already have a deploy command set up here. And this will now not work, because we first need some funds from the faucet. So we have this URL. It tells us that we don't have a balance, so we have to go to the faucet and get a few tokens. Good, so the tokens should arrive soon. Let's go back and already try it again. Okay, good. So this time it worked. Now we can see a couple of details. So we can see the, the project that we're deploying. Uh, we can also see the address that we're using. This address, by the way, was generated on the fly. Um, during the setup command. So in the environment variables, we have a new mnemonic here that is uh, 
basically results in this address. You can also import this in a web extension and then connect to the console um, with the same mnemonic. And in production, you would obviously use uh, your own mnemonic, but for demo purposes, we can have this pre-generated one. Um, we can also see that the deployment will be is scheduled to start in five minutes, and we can also see a countdown here, uh, how long it's going to take. We can see how many executions uh, there are and how many replicas and what the cost is in Kaku. We can also see the stat status of the current deployment. Here we can see that it has been submitted to Accurist, that the, the deployment has been registered, now it was just matched and now we're waiting for the acknowledgements of the processors and um, this should happen shortly. And once this is done, then we basically just have to wait for the timer to hit zero and then we can um, access our demo app in the web browser. Okay, so now that looks all good, everything worked. So now we just have to wait for the timer to hit zero for the deployment time to, well, to be reached so we can see the deployment. Okay. So I think uh, we have waited now about five minutes, so the deployment should be ready. The subdomain will be demo, so let's, I copied the, the URL here, and I'll go here, select demo here, and we can see that what we defined before, hello from Acuris demo. So now we have a processor up and running with our demo script. Um, and it will run for one hour as we spe specified in our deployment. Yeah, that's it. Um, you can now, you can run any kind of Node.js applications and it's very simple to set up. You can also do local testing and um, once you're ready to deploy, you can deploy it to the Acuras Cloud. Happy programming.